Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a custom drum kit in Ableton Live 8. Uh, it's a really cool feature, um, and you can use it to do a lot more than actually just drum racks. Um, but for today's purposes, I'm just going to show you the simple, simple drum rack. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to want to go find your drum rack instrument, and that's going to be in your library under instruments. Um, and you just kind of you click it and drag it into a MIDI clip or a MIDI track. If you don't have a MIDI track already, you can just drag it right there, and it'll make a new one for you. And as you can see, it pops this instrument down here, um, and it's a normal 4x4 grid. It's made that way um, so that it works well with uh, normal drum pads like a M Audio Trigger Finger or an MPD, something like that. Um, if you notice on each of these pads, it has a note that is the MIDI um, note that you're going to want to assign to your drum pads if you want to play your drum racks with a drum pad. So once you have that in there, um, you're going to want to find some drum samples. Um, it doesn't matter where you get your drum samples. Um, I have some loaded up here already. Um, they're all out there, all over the place on the internet. So just go find some. Um, so you're generally going to want a kick, snare, some hi-hats, and a couple toms. So I'm just going to find one that I think I'm going to like. Once you find one, you click it, drag it to the pad that you want it to go to. You can click it to see. Make sure it plays. I'm going to find maybe a one. That's good. Um, now onto the snare. Like that. So now I'm just gonna throw um, these two toms in there, and hi hats, hi hats, and I'll just randomly pick some of these effects. Alright, so you can see I don't have all the pads filled up. Um, you don't have to have them all filled up, obviously, um, but usually a full drum kit has them all filled up. Um, now to play it, you're just going to need to arm your clip, or arm your track, and I'm just going to be using the keyboard MIDI because I don't have my drum pad hooked up. So when I hit keys, you can see down here that these different pads are lighting up. Um, and that's because that's that's the MIDI that's getting triggered when I send those. Um, you can use these as different banks. So if I was in this octave, these would be getting activated. But since I'm not, I'm going to shift it down an octave. Almost there. One more time. So so now I can play it to my heart's content. Really, really simple, really cool. Um, you can do a lot of crazy stuff with this. You can put um, any kind of effects and stuff that you want in there. Uh, really great, really quick, uh, highly suggested. All right, take it easy.